James Mullinger is a stand-up comedian who left a prosperous career in the UK to relocate to St. John, New Brunswick. Don't get me wrong, love St. John, have spent some, some beautiful nights there. It's just not where I figured an ambitious young stand-up would go. I mean, James might agree. He said he was told from the get-go, quote, we don't like comedy in New Brunswick. Since his arrival four years ago, James has been proving that wrong. Get this. James has twice sold out St. John's Harbor Station Arena, getting more people to his shows than Iron Maiden, Guns N' Roses, and Alice Cooper when they were in St. John, even more than his comedy hero, Jerry Seinfeld. James's new comedy special, Almost Canadian, drops this week. Well, comedian James Mullinger played to a sold-out crowd in Montreal this week. Originally from London, England, Mullinger has made a career out of pointing out the differences he notices since moving to the Maritimes. It's even worse in the rural areas. I was trying to find a gig in Sussex about six months ago. I got lost. I asked him for directions, and I swear to God, word for word, he says to me, go to the end of this road and turn left at the tree where Donny crashed his bike in 78. <laughs> The award-winning stand-up settled in St. John, New Brunswick with his family five years ago, and his career took off. His shows now sell out across the country. His Almost Canadian tour has just earned him a Canadian Comedy Award nomination. They work for GQ magazine in London, England. James Mullinger quit that to become a comedian in New Brunswick. Christine Long has a story. Starting a comedy career in another country, that's a challenge. Yet James Mullinger likes to reflect Canadians back to themselves through a lens of British wit. Get halfway across the water. Some moron arrives 20 minutes late. We will go back to get that person. James Mullinger makes Canadians laugh at ourselves, and he thinks we're a bit too humble. I went there thinking I was going to have to give up stand-up because everyone says, New Brunswick, there's no comedy scene there, or you can't make a living as a comedian there. And, and that's not outsiders, that's New Brunswickers themselves saying that. And then when you go there and, you, and, and it kind of works out, it can only be a wonderful thing to be celebrated. 